Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to learn about two very important topics within SQL, which is limit and subqueries. Okay. And how we can use both of them together to answer very specific questions that you might be asked during an interview or during an analysis process. So let's just jump into it. Now to begin with, let's start with the limit. So what is a limit statement? Basically, it's a way for us to get the top n items from your table. So for example, you want the top 10 row items from the existing table, you will use a limit statement. Now, in different database platforms, the limit statement might have a different name. For example, in SQL Server, you will use top instead of limit, right? And the place where we write top and limit are different as well. We will see how we can use limit in BigQuery because top statement is not valid in BigQuery environment. In BigQuery, we use limit. So let's say I have a table here and I'm using the same data set that we've been using for the SQL series, which is open powerlifting data set. So we're going to use the same table. And the problem statement here is I want to see the top 10 rows from this table. Okay, so this table has lot many rows in it. And out of those, I just want to see the top 10 rows. Now there might be multiple use cases for this. First of all is when you're analyzing a big data set and you just want to see what kind of data that table has, you can use limit statement. The second use case is, which is usually asked in interviews is how do you get the top 10 rows from a table and second top item from the table, right? So we'll see how to do that. But first let's see how we write a limit statement within a SQL query. Okay. Select name from the project name, which is Lithe Sonar. And within that, I'm going to select this open powerlifting table where equipment is equal to raw. Out of this query, I want to see only the top 10 items. Okay. So I'll simply write after your where statement or whatever filters you have applied, whatever things you applied. I just want to say limit 10. And when I run this, it will only show me 10 row items from the top. I can also say limit five and it will only show me five row items from the top. It simply takes the top five items, right? So regardless of the fact whether those items are actually the top ones or not, it will take out the first five row items from the top, right? So in case you want to see the oldest people within this data set, so you'll use the age column and use the order by clause, which we used last time. And you'll say order by age. And I'm going to say descending. So I'm going to just simply write DSC. Now what it will do is it will first filter out the data for equipment draw, then order by the entire thing on the basis of age. And then it will give me the five items from the top. So now I know these are the oldest people within my data set. And if you want to check, I can write age column here to see whether the output is correct or not. Now it will include the age column as well. Now if you see the output was indeed correct. You might be thinking, what if I want the youngest people out of the lot, right? So all you have to do is just move the DEC part, right? So it will order everything in ascending order. And when I run this, it will give me the youngest people inside that table. Now let's understand another concept within SQL, which is known as subqueries. Now subqueries are important because it will help you churn out your data in multiple lots so that your end query or the way that you're processing your data becomes much more simpler. Now the concept of subquery is that I can consider this entire select statement as a single table. Okay. So I'm going to insert a bracket here so that my bracket encloses the entire select statement. And I can consider this entire thing as a table and I can consider this entire thing inside a where clause as well. Okay. So now my problem statement here is I do not want the oldest person in the lot. I want the second oldest person in the lot. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll insert this entire clause inside a where statement. And I'm going to say select name and age from open powerlifting. Okay. 
let me just indent this a little bit so that it's easier to understand where equipment is equal to raw and name is not is equal to this entire statement but because it's in in a where clause and where clause expects one output or one column output we cannot have multiple columns here so i'm going to just remove this age from here okay so the output of this entire select statement would give me just one column that is name right and i'm saying that output should not be equal to this column and one more thing to add here after i've done that i'm going to say order by age descending and limit one i just want to see the top one right and when i run this it will give me dan mason right and if you want to see if this output is correct or not i'm going to copy this select statement i'm going to add one more tab here by pressing on this plus icon here i'm going to paste this select statement now instead of one here i'm going to enter 10 okay and run this statement now if you see the first two row items were john gilmer and the second person second oldest person was dan mason now one more example is i can use this sub query inside a table reference as well right now we used it inside a where clause but we can use it inside a table reference as well so i can simply say i'm going to enclose this inside brackets and i'm going to indent this little bit and i'm going to say select distinct name from this entire table and run now it has given me six unique list of items from that original list of 10 that we had in this select statement so now i hope you understood how to use limit statements and use sub queries and use both of them together so that you can get interesting outputs so that is it for today stay tuned for more because we're going to cover lot more interesting topics within sql in bigquery in upcoming videos if you're liking my content please consider subscribing to the channel and as always thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one